it's rare you find these things intact. This is like a little bottle, little little jar. But it's full full blown. I cleaned it up a little bit. Fully intact. I don't know what was in it. Look at that one. Howdy folks, Michelle there, and I'm just the assistant to Hiking with Michelle on YouTube. You can call me Fred, or Tim, whichever you prefer. <laughs> Sean here, Hiking with Sean, <clears throat> just did a, a presentation via Zoom for Carbondale Library, and I really enjoyed doing that. And now we're out here at Odom Tract area, and uh, we're hiking to an area that gets a lot of daffodils. All right, folks, found an area with some daffodils and looked at my Gaia 1930s plot map, and it looks like there could be homestead out here somewhere. So we're gonna kind of look around, see if we can't find a well but plenty of daffodils growing at least for sure and that is for sure there's an old tailpipe probably not old old but a jeep or <laughs> whoever lost it <laughs> yeah tip so lots of daffodils here in this area all right folks there's a well and there's all sorts of stuff out here old stuff but there's a bunch of blocks right here that was probably used for the uh the home side the the actual structure whatever they had out here so it's pretty neat looks like someone's been collecting stuff putting it on here there's an old file some sort of old porcelain doll or something old parts of an old bottle so someone's been doing some little collecting and laying it on the uh, the rock. So it's kind of interesting. But I will definitely mark this area for the well. All right, we got a much larger well or foundation or something. Almost think it's like a, a breached well. Sounds like some sort of beached well. <laughs> yeah, a beached well. <laughs> that's what it sounded like, <laughs> but yeah, that's why I think it is. I think it was a well. It could have been a, a root cellar of sorts. Yeah, it could have been. Yeah, it's pretty big though. It's a lot bigger one. So that's kind of neat. Spring. Yeah, that is definitely kind of neat. It's all sorts of uh, bigger wolf trees, so definitely was a settlement of sorts out here. All right, folks, we are on the gas pipeline. We both have gas. You got gas? No. <laughs> yeah, oh, looks like someone murdered a couch. <laughs> Yeah. Alrighty folks, we're in our area. We wanted to be in. It's all sorts of daffodils. Is it just wood? Yeah. yeah. We're just kinda looking around, checking it out. Pretty flowers. My favorite flower. I know it's not really native I guess, but they're everywhere and they're sign there you know one of the first signs of spring just love them i remember there was some sort something in there i think we've seen a whale or something yeah always be careful when going off trail because these things are they're all around you know off trail especially um 
and they're open and they're deep so they don't really cover them up it's probably too expensive uh, but all right got some old buckets old jars so they're dumped here who knows if it's from whoever lived here before if it's litter bugs from the past it's hard to tell they're, they're pretty old though but some of them have screw in caps and stuff so it's not like it's super but you just don't see those bottles anymore really cool tree we're up on top of a like a baron's glade type environment and right down below is private but up top is the Shawnee portion so we're exploring the top which is proven to be pretty cool so yeah all right folks look at all this prickly pear I think that's a lot look at all that prickly pear Wow that's a whole lot of prickly pear <laughs> Cute little waterfall here. Right on the edge of Shawnee property. So, pretty neat. Me and Michelle have come up to, with the agreement that we're naming it Prickly Pear Cascade since it's just an abundance of prickly pears. That's pretty much a cascade all the way down if you could see it right in that area there's a bound boundary sign so it's right on the edge of Shawnee yeah that's neat it splits off all right folks come down to the base of the fall here and there's a pretty nice little shelter down there neat that's pretty cool I had a feeling there was gonna be a shelter alrighty folks almost to the Tunnel Hill Trail which is right there if you could see it but we found this other cool shelter here there's a little water spewing off at the end Pelliated Woodpecker's happy to see us. <laughs> yep. But really cool little area. Good. Feels good? Smells, Smells good. good. Alrighty folks, Tunnel Hill State Trail. It's been a while since I've enjoyed some Tunnel Hill. Mm -hmm. Check that out. Pretty cool. Cool creek. Crick creek. <laughs> 